Hi, I'm Vibrine Samuels and I'm your tech translator here at the Smart Year. So welcome back to the fourth in my series of tech driven, tech related type of jobs that will be emerging over the next decade. And today I'm going to bring you the opposite of euthanasia in the form of cryogenics. So euthanasia is when one chooses to end their life early, whereas cryogenics is about the extension of life beyond your natural life cycle. So what happens is that once one is pronounced legally dead, uh, the body is removed obviously, uh, fluids are drained and then it's pumped with liquid nitrogen as a way to preserve the body and then it's put into this very iced tank. And the reason why people are choosing this, it could be that, as I said, those who want to extend their life beyond their natural life cycle and those who are suffering from a terminal illness who are choosing for their bodies to be uh, preserved in the hope that in tens or maybe hundreds of years of time that uh, scientists and doctors come up with a cure to what once was an untreatable di disease. So in 2016 there was a 14 year old girl who was dying of cancer and her parents disagreed in terms of what should happen once she is pronounced legally dead. So her mum agreed with her in terms of wanting to go through this process whereas her dad didn't um, and the uh, High Court here ruled in favour of uh, the, the, uh, the young girl's choice and it was to be decided by her mum. And the idea is, is that, as I said, she wanted the opportunity that in time to come, there may be a discovery for her type of illness. And so this is the type of case that could be presented to a cryogenics concierge system or service or procedure. There are going to be clinics that will be opening up around the world. And at the moment, cryogenics is practiced in three countries. That's Portugal, Russia and America. So there are two centers in America, one in Arizona, one in Michigan, there's one in Portugal and one in Russia. And the idea is that these specialists will be giving advice to families in terms of the different processes and procedures regarding cryogenics, um, the cost of it, as well as financial planning, and equally importantly, are the sort of legal and ethical uh, rights and responsibilities pertaining to the family once this person has passed on. And um, you know it's been predicted in terms of scientists are now saying that possibly within the next 10 to 15 years the practice of cryogenics will begin to um, arise insofar as they're predicting that there may be uh, developments that means that bodies can be resurrected basically and uh, brought back to life. Now there's a whole range of ethical considerations around that in terms of you know will body parts actually survive a freezing process through to a revived one I suppose. But that's what's on the horizon so in terms of an industry that's going to be burgeoning possibly because currently there are about 350 people from around the world who have opted for this process and there's a waiting list in America at least of at least 2,000 people. So this is something that we may see rising over the next decade. So that's it. If you've got any comments or questions put them in the comment box below. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and share this information with other people in your network. Stay well and I will see you again on the 5th episode, the fifth bite-size uh, piece of information around tech and tech and STEM related types of jobs. So until then, stay well and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye!